What's going on, everybody? This is Colin Black, the founder of Forever and Profit and the founder of Wall Street Academy. So if you don't know, Forever and Profit is a Forbes educational platform which is offered online. It's available anywhere in the world, honestly, because in trading, all you need is Wi-Fi. You know, we have students literally all over the world. <laughs> Africa, um, Thailand, all over Canada. Um, you know, we have a good amount in Jamaica, all over the U.S., um, a few in England. Oh my gosh, it's, it's freaking crazy. So, for every profit overall, you know, it's me, Ryan, and Rico, which has three different trading styles that is offered in Forever and Profit. Then you have Wall Street Academy, which is pretty much just all of my trading style under one roof, you know? So if you don't know, like in trading, like if you're trying to learn all these different trading styles at one time, then you're gonna fuck yourself big time. You're gonna burn yourself inside a market, which the market has no bottom. It could take as much money as it, it fucking wants to. You know, the more money you give it, the more money it's willing to take. So, what this video right here is for is giving you guys a glimpse of Wall Street Academy and how I how I trade or how I used to trade at least. But this right here can definitely make new upcoming traders profit. Um, the video is called Confluence 1.0. Mind you, there is Confluence 2.0 and 2.5, which is the, the more updated versions of my trading style, which is offered in, in Wall Street Academy as well. So this video right here is kind of like me giving back to new upcoming traders because I definitely feel as if like, well, I definitely know Forks did change my life, you know, just by knowing that you can make profits out of market every single day. And this trading style right here, like I'm giving you guys, you know, just a little glimpse, you know, of what I'm actually training people to actually do. You know, we have 2,300 students right now all around the world, you know, we're in our prime right now, but we're definitely making things happen just from learning this skill set right here. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. New upcoming traders definitely Pay attention, pay attention, take fucking notes. If you don't take notes after this video, you're slacking and you're not gonna be like profiting inside the market like how you expect because this is not easy, okay? So take notes, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys after the video, peace. I'll be going over a few things that I use personally um, on trading, I don't use nothing crazy. I don't try to use nothing crazy. All I use is supply and demand. Fibs and harmonics if I see a potential pattern, um, price action, and support and resistance, and that's about it. All right, so to kick this thing off, I'm just going to first show you how I draw support and resistance, mainly, okay? So first things first, I draw it from the wicks. The wicks is basically the, the highest price points that the market tries to reach. Um, it would, once again, try, try to actually reach that point again. Um, so first thing I do, do, do some markups, get all the wicks ready. All right, so wick, 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 actually I'll put it right here, previous one, wick, And put one down here. Wick and wick. All right, so that's just a few. Matter of fact, um, it's like a lot more, but I mean, like this is just basically the concept. Okay, so for instance, I would have took this right here mainly because it didn't close over this this um res resistance. Actually, it, it didn't close over it. And normally, when it doesn't close over it actually as far as create a brand new candle over it like if it did this and then a new candle was formed over it then it would have been some different everything but this will happen right here the market it came up it closed like halfway over it and this next candle shot down always if it does this trust me you could take the sell you could take the sell guarantee guarantee i promise you on this if it breaks through on one full candle, the, and the next candle, it spikes back down, it's still a downtrend. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's not even like a downtrend, but you, but you can still take that sell and still make profit from it. You know what I'm saying? And you you seeing this right here and everything, the main thing you will always, always main, um, look for is a retest. Always look for a retest in any single thing that you're doing. All right, so, and if it came down to like, let's say this pattern right here, 
Let me mark this off real quick. Let's go in a five minute. Um, try to zoom out as far back. All right, so up here. Okay, so what happened here is basically it was retested from its own newfound resistance. So when when the market came up, it came up came up again. It did the retest, retested one more time, and then dropped. So basically, it tried to break through, but then again, it respected resistance. The wicks, remember, always wicks, always wicks, always wicks. Look at look at your wicks. Trust me. It's, it's a big change. So if I seen this right here, if, if none of this even existed yet, all this didn't even exist yet, I would have marked off my wicks first and then wait for a retest. The market always retests wicks. Always retests wicks. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to actually keep the, the, the wicks that you draw on a five-minute chart in your in your whole chart. You know what I'm saying? So like the main chart that you draw it on is the hour chart. Hour chart, four hour chart, on and on and on. And once again, <clears throat> right here. Okay, so for instance, if I had seen this right here, what I wait for is a retest of the newfound resistance. Let's so watch this though, it's gonna blow your mind. Okay, so the market came up, right? It, it broke through support, and what it did? It retest on this wick right here, see it? That wick right there. That's when I would've got into my order. That's all I wait for when I'm actually getting the entry. If that doesn't happen, I'm not taking it. Um, and that's, that's all I'm waiting for. Is that a retest of new found resistance? That's that's it. All right. So to wrap up, this is going to be basically that's how you draw support and resistance and actually benefit from it. Once again, wicks. Wait for those retests. Came up, retested. Shut up. A, a little bit of drawdown. It's not much at the end of the day. Um, yeah, but that would have been a definite, definite, definite um, buy right there actually and that's all I look for I don't look for nothing else I don't try to make nothing complicated that's all I look for you know what I'm saying um, once again like let's say if I got in like I try to get in like right here remember my support point is right here based off this wicker let's smart this up all I'm waiting for is that retest no retest no entry simple as that um, let's get this right here all right, so bomb. It came up. It tried to, tried to retest. It broke through. It respected, it respected the newfound resistance. After that, it kept on retested and then dropped. You know what I'm saying, even though it was like bouncing off many, many times, I would have still t took the sell. Simple as that. I would have had, um, either. I would have probably had like a, what is it? Um, a sell, a sell limit ready, like a sell limit. So like once it, it broke through, I would just put my, my sell limit um like about. Let's say like about, what could it say? Probably like about one pip away from the resistance or a few micros away from the resistance. So once it touches it, it grabs it and calls it, and calls it a day. And you have to do this on an ECN account, guys. Why? Because if you set a, a buy limit, which is, uh, is when the market is going down, for instance. Let's say the market is going down. Your, your buy limit is set like let's say like right here damn it change the color let's say your bottom is right there and your support point is right there and you're expecting the market to retrace the bottom it gets hit and it gets hit very very tight because the spread is so low and whenever you're doing a buy limit sell limit pending stop um, sell stop they all have to cover the spread before it opens up so this is why ECN account is good because the spread is so so low, so um, it executes like easily, and that can make your entries really, really, really on point. It's crazy. So once that gets executed, you might sense a little bit of drawdown, but not much, and then it takes off. That's a buy limit. The buy limit opens up. It um, 
let's say it hits the, the spread point, which is probably like a few micros, um, it opens up and activates. And then from there, if you're saying that a market is going to retrace at that point and it, and it retraces, you're going to be in hella profit because your entry is going to be so on point. So it gets crazy. Um, a sell limit, same thing, but in a different way. The mark's up here. You're expecting it to retrace. So support is right there. Um, it comes up. It touches it. Damn, what the fuck? Um, it touches it, and you're expecting it to retrace. And it retraces like right around that area. So that'll be a sell limit up there, basically. And a sell stop is basically when you're when the market's going down and you just want to hit this one point and then keep on going down. But a buy stop, same thing. The market's going up, you want it to hit a certain point and pass it, it hits it, and it keeps on going. So limits are basically the opposite because it's supposed to re reverse on those points compared to um damn what the hell? Compared to the 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 limits where it's supposed to reverse, stops are supposed to keep on going. So it's like a it's like a continuation type pending when the limits are a reverse of type pending. So take those in consideration. They are bomb if you know how to use them. Let me erase this real fast. I just don't want to erase my um, support points and resistance points. All right, so next I'm gonna show you guys how to do supply and demand, how I draw them actually. All right, so basically I draw them very, very, um, I wouldn't say different, but I mean like, I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure like this is how you actually draw them. Um, okay, so how I draw them is basically from, let's say there's a strong uptrend or a strong breakout. How I draw them is basically from the previous wick, which is right here, the previous wick to the breakout candle's body, which is like right here. So this wick right here, all the way up to this point right here, and then drag it across. All right, so previous wick, candle's body. All right, so that's considered as a supply and demand zone. Why also the market was in um was indecisive all right here. And once again, it came back up, touched this this newfound supply zone and it's kept on going. If you drag it more across, same thing. It's, it, it respected the supply zone. Let me give you a few more examples. Once again, um, previous wick to break out candle's body. Have to be pinpoint. Trust me, everything is accuracy. Everything is accuracy. A little bit up, to say. All right. So this would have been a little bit more up. Okay. All right, so basically this would have been your, um, what is it, your demand zone. So seeing that and seeing that there is support here based off this wick, that would have been a definite buy. Like, that's like a double confirmation right there. And, and, and that's how I trade, actually. I trade off based off confluence. Con confluence is basically uh, mixing mixing type methods and everything for a double triple confirmation you know what i'm saying so that's the best thing in trading to actually um have because it can really benefit you dramatically as far as not just one confirmation is good two confirmations is good oh, and then three confirmations are good you know what i'm saying and then that's when you actually you actually start pulling out your fibs um j just in case um and fibs basically like i told y'all inside this one video that i made not too long ago the the PRZs are, which is the price reversal zones, is, what is it? Yeah, 38.2, 61.8, and 78.6%. Um, how you draw them, damn. 
how you draw them is from your what is it your relative low to your relative high okay always to your relative low to your relative high so for instance since this is in a downtrend I draw it from the relative high to the relative low if it's in an uptrend I draw it from the relative low to the relative high you know what I'm saying vice versa and um as you can see like like right here and everything the market came okay so Wow, it retraced that 61.8 right there, as you can see. And what you'll be waiting for here is the uptrend, if anything. So one point that it, it could possibly reverse at is 38.2. That's going to be the first target and everything inside this whole method all right here. And plus, what do you have up here also? You have a, a mini, mini, mini supply zone based off, remember, the breakout candle? The previous candle and the breakout candle. If you drew this across that would have been a def definite target and everything for a next level that the market might spike up to um because this market right now is an uptrend um that's why i took this buy when it actually hit this um support level right here also I, I took the buy mainly because it was an uptrend and it hit strong support so what is that like a double confirmation double confirmation that's the best things and once you learn how to do how to do fibs what's next so why not learn some harmonics all right so let me point out like a little pattern for you real quick um euro usd I haven't seen any okay so for instance um like when it comes to like patterns i i see only a certain patterns just off the head honestly like for instance like right here I'll possibly, I'll possibly see like a bullish bat, mainly because it's uh it's the form of a double top formation, um, that breaks out once it hits the retracement level, that hit like down here. Right, this right here is probably an 88.6, and that's just off the head. I didn't do this before, or anything like that. Um, so previous low to previous high. Okay, so damn. So what happened right here exactly? And this right here is possibly a 78.6 retracement level. Um, more than likely, let's check it out. All right, perfect. Seventy-eight point six retracement level right here, and this this would form a perfect, perfect bullish bat pattern, because bullish bat patterns are this is right here. It has to retrace at fifty percent on the first X and A leg. I'm gonna show you guys right how to draw this right here. Okay, so X and A leg would basically be right here, X. Till A, B, C would C is the seventy-eight point point six mark that um I told you about earlier, seventy-eight point six, and down to eighty-eight point six. And what happened next? Bullish. All right. So if I pull out my fibs, it'll mark it up perfectly. Check it out. Okay. So first, the market came up. It dropped back down to what? 50% and what, what was that do right here? It has to be from 38.6 to 50%. This time it retraced at 50%. From there, it went up to 78.6, which I showed you er earlier. Um, 78.6 can also be 88.6 in that range, either or. I, I see to actually form at 78.6 a lot more than 88.6, and that could still be considered as a legitimate bullish bat. Okay? So from there, C to D has to equal 88.6 which is X to A, has to be 88.6, all right? That has to be a little off. 88.6, 88, 88.6, okay? So from that point, that would have been a retrace for a bullish, um, a bullish type pattern and everything on this market right here, okay? So in all this, in all the mix, <laughs> Sorry, I do like a lot of stuff like when I'm trading. So in the mix, let's let's clear this off real quick. In the mix, I would be doing a little bit of trend lines to basically draw these points real quick for you. Okay. So all right. So. The reason why I would have took this buy right here is a few things. Once again, a retest. All right. Two, it's 
it touched this tread line three times, which is basically gold. Let me show you guys. So it was a triple touch. And then it went bullish. That would have been, oh my god, so many pips. Let me show you right now how many pips it would have been if you did this on the triple touch of this tread line that didn't break, which was also known as support. That would have been 2,167 micros, which is 216 pips. That would have been crazy. All right. And once again, if I zoom in on the five minute chart, let me go back. What I'm waiting for is that retest. No retest, no entry. And what happened here? The respect, the respect to support, which is um basically the tread line, which is a diagonal version of support, and more than likely I could also find a support point from this. Also, let's mark it up. Okay, so once again. And I always do this every single time I trade. Okay, once again, mark up, mark up, mark up. And wick. Always wicks. Always wicks. Okay, so for instance, perfect. Right here. What I will what I'll be looking for is that retest. No retest, no entry. All right, so what happened right here? It, re it tested support, it came back down, tries to, to retest again, and took off. It, it didn't break support, as you can see. A candle was not formed over support and kept on going. A candle was actually, it was midway. It, it, it didn't form over it. Every single time it formed, it was on support. Every single time, nothing more, if I'm saying. So that would have been a, a definite entry right there, like straight up. Um, you know what I'm saying? So these are points to actually look out for inside a market. And um and yeah, like you could get your bomb ass entries. So once again, always do a markup, 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 markup. What, what happened over here? Just based off this week right here. They're retested. What happened right here again? Once again, it retested. I would have took that. Actually, I think I did take that. <laughs> yeah, I did. Um, I wrote us down actually. This was after NFP. Yeah, this is NFP, and, and after actually, I wrote us down to like somewhere like, like right here. I can't remember like where I actually exited, but an e a good exit point would have been based off the wicks once again. It's on our chart. Market came down. It touched it. It broke through. That next candle shot up. I'm saying after that, I was confused and shot up. So I mean, that that's all I do honestly. Like I don't use that many moving averages as you can see. I I don't need that that much stuff. Um, keep it as simple as possible. Study, 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 and trust me, you could be forever in profit in no time. And um, always do these type of analysis and everything on a bigger time frame. H4, H1, daily chart, either or, it's your choice. But trust me, you have some bomb ass entries and everything else. But yeah, this is um pulling black. So in this video, I pretty much went over. Uh, let me go on other chart. Eurocad. I went over supply and demand. I went over fibs and harmonics. Um, limited price action and support and resistance. And that's about it, honestly. So. Let me know if you guys have any, have any kind of questions. And remember, supply and demand, previous wick to the breakout candle's body. You know what I'm saying? Fibs um, basically are, look for your, PR, your, your PRZ zones, which is 38.2, um, 61.8, 78.6, and 88.6. And price action, basically, always look for a retest. Always look for a retest on a five minute chart. Um, basically go off your major patterns and everything on a bigger time frame, which is like hour chart or four hour chart. From there you zoom in. Um, always look, look for a retest on that five minute chart. And, and yeah, just trade off that. If the candle doesn't form over 
this, the new level of support, a new level of resistance, it has not been broken. Um, that's why the the next candle after that more than likely is gonna is gonna go the same direction that it was that it was going before, like continuation type pattern. And um and yeah, I mean like that's about it really. So let me know if you guys have, have any kind of questions, hit me up. This is Quillen Black on Instagram, Q Banks. And yeah, let's be forever in profit, guys. And welcome to the end of Confluence 1.0. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys took fucking notes. Really. Like, let me see those notes. Let me see. You know what I'm saying? Just making sure. But just trust me. Like, if you don't take notes, then you're slacking big time. And apply everything that you learned from this video into the market. Take your time. Risk management. Control your lot size. And, you know, you, you definitely make profit. Uh, even if it's $100 a day, trust me, that's... That's a good amount of money still, if you think about it. I'm $200 a day, $500 a day, all that shit's possible. You know what I'm saying? So like once you guys actually just learn this base concept of Confluence 1.0 and realize there's Confluence 2.0, 2.5. So this right here was a video that I made um, quite, quite a while ago, you know, but it's, 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 still, it's still valid, you know, still valid. Students have to watch this before they even get on to Confluence 2.0, 2.5. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. So this right here was a glimpse of what is offered in Wall Street Academy. If you guys want more info on Wall Street Academy, just go to the link below right here and check it out. If you guys want to enroll, it's a one-time fee. It's $4.99 for the online course access. That gives you access to Wall Street Academy, which is the mentorship, and Forever and Profit, which is the main group, our Facebook groups, everything. So be a part of the the fastest growing um, group right now, honestly. And seeing that like, we bring a different kind of vibe to this whole entire industry. You know, um, we have a lot of fucking knowledge, a lot of knowledge for our age, and we're definitely using it for the good, you know, and we're better in lives all over the world, testimonials every single fucking day, it's ridiculous. Um, and yeah, be one of those people that could change their life also. Entrepreneurship is what I preach every single day. All my family, all my, all my, all my students, all my homeboys and, and homegirls. Trust me, I preach it. So definitely, guys, take advantage of this video right here. Study it. Go back, re rewind, all over again. Watch it again. Watch it again. Watch it again. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. And trust me, you will be forever in profit. All right. And um, make sure you guys follow my social media on Instagram at QBanks, C-U-E-B-A-N-K-S. Um, follow me on Snapchat, um, C-U-E Black. So it's Q Black, C-U-E-B-L-A-C-K. Everybody mess up thinking that it's QBanks, but Q Black. Um, what else, what else, what else, what else? Subscribe to my damn YouTube channel. <laughs> For real, because I'm, I put, I'm, I'm gonna put out a lot of material. I have um, my vlogs and everything that I wanna plan on doing in, in the future, you know, so. Definitely, you guys, hope you guys love the video. Take advantage once again. Take advantage, take advantage, take advantage. All right, and you'll be forever in profit. Peace.